family outraged after one of their neighbors shoots their dog with a BB gun. 23 ABC's Faven K talked to that woman who says that neighbor had no right to harm her dog. She's now seeking justice. Faven? That's right, Tim. That incident happened less than 24 hours ago on the street you see right behind me. That woman telling me that she has to find justice for her dog, Jax, because she doesn't understand what led to this. I was crying very hard and I was pulling grass out of the ground. It's a day eight-year-old Taylor Manassan will never forget. Tuesday night, Taylor was playing in her friend's backyard when the family dog Jax wandered into a neighbor's yard. She says she noticed Jax was gone and began looking for him. They heard like a pop or a boom and then you see the dog come over from the side of the fence and he running and then they ran across the street over here and then you see a lot of blood. Moments later, she found her two-year-old miniature poodle bleeding from a single pellet shot. I could just hear her say, Jackson, he shot my dog. Jax was rushed to the hospital where the vet removed the pellet. Frey says it barely missed his pelvic bone and spinal cord. So he was extremely lucky. Police say they did respond to the incident. Officers took the man's pellet gun but did not arrest him. And while she is thankful that Jax is okay, Frey says that her neighbor's actions are not justified. Fortunately, since again, like I don't have an eyewitness, I couldn't, you know, get justice that night. So I'm reaching out to everybody to put the word out, to press this DA. You know, this can't be tolerated. This was injustice. This is animal cruelty. We need to have a law enforced, and it needs to do it, and it needs to do it fast. Now, I did speak with a man who did shoot, who shot Jax, and he tells me that he's an animal lover, that in fact he owns a cat himself, and that he's simply grown tired of the problem of dogs wandering around the neighborhoods and going onto his property. He says his intention was not to kill that dog, but to simply scare him away. That's the very latest here in Southwest Bakersfield. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you.